Okay, go ahead. My name is Alan Meck. I'm uh, in the Robotics and Automation. Okay, and? I'm John Swink, and I'm also in Robotics and Automation. Okay, well, so what do you got here? Okay, we have a uh, fingerprint recognition, recognition system. Okay, so you have some fingerprints over here? Took some fingerprints of a couple students, and um, we uh, scan it with our camera, our Cognex uh, camera. Yep. And we're using the Cognex software to analyze the pattern. Okay, so here's the photograph of one of the, one of the fingerprints. fingerprints. Okay, and uh, this uses um, sort of algorithm, algorithms that are built into the software to detect the pattern. Then we create a tool based off that pattern. Yeah. And uh, from that tool, we have a connected, uh, the camera connected uh, through a local area network to the PLC. So the camera um, has either pass or fail on the job depending on uh, which person's fingerprint is there. Then it sends out a uh, signal to the PLC. And uh, let's look here. So the big, depending on the person, uh, this one here is Roman. So um, that goes into a counter so we keep track of um, when the person logs in and logs out, we're kind of doing a uh, like an employee yeah. um, okay. check-in, check-out system, and then uh, analyzes that, and it sends a timestamp over to the HMI through the network. And John can show you our. And this is yeah. over here. Yeah. So, so this is our using Wonderware made an HMI screen. Pretty much when the camera finds a fingerprint, it'll show whose fingerprint it is. Yeah. Uh, it'll show the time depending if it was. If this is uh, the first or second time it scanned this fingerprint, it'll either do the time in or time out, and change it in the... Okay, there's Ryan. So you have a different one then. I see. Yeah. No, you go. There you go. <laughs> so, clock them in again. Uh, just give us some general information. About the person and what's the uh, picture below here? <laughs> That's we just just to fill some space. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So just to, a little fun with the project. Yeah. And, uh, all, right, all right. Everyone to just picked a fun picture to go along with their yeah. thing. So I mean. So so basically, instead of a, a a time card, you could use your fingerprint to keep track of employees. Yep. For like a uh, for when they check in and check out. That's yep. pretty cool. All right. It's, uh, now this system here. So this is just a, a uh, HMI type screen, right? Uh, well, uh, it just produces output. It does there's no input on this. Yeah, this is at the screen. tags generated from the PLC. Right. Yeah. right. Well, this actually turns the trigger system for the camera on and off. Oh, it does. Right. So it's it, continuously triggered. Oh, so you do have one input here. Yeah. Right oh, here. I see. Yeah. I see. That's okay. just to get the whole program running. All right. All right. Very good. That's pretty amazing. Now, what keeps the, the your recognition? You have a database of, of recognized uh, fingerprints, right? Yes. I'm curious about what holds your, uh, you know, your uh, comparison fingerprints. Is that in your PLC or the? Uh, that's in the Cognix, the Cognix? software. Okay. So you train it on an image, it picks up a pattern, All right. and then it compares it to the new image that's All right. fed so, so these. Uh, locations here, locators, these are all stored yep. uh, fingerprints. I see. Therefore, you can see the names of the students if we can move. Maybe not. <laughs> so, to train the system, you'd have to take everybody's fingerprint yep. and, and put it in. So, it, it's using the ink uh, system there, it's a, it's a little finicky. Yeah. Okay, fingerprint to fingerprint, but you can set a threshold and tolerance so it picks up. Yeah. Depending on. Okay. All right. Great. Very good. Good job, guys. Thanks.